Hello friends, myself Takshi Yadav. Today we are going to learn about the realms of the earth. What are they? And what is meant by it? The realms of the earth are the parts of the earth in which it is divided. So the earth is divided into four realms or four parts. They are lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. Now let us understand them. Lithosphere. Lithosphere or land is the entire solid portion of the earth. About 71% of lithosphere is covered with water and forms the hydrosphere. The remaining 29% is rock and land that make up the lithosphere. It contains continents. Continents are large masses of land. They are large masses of land. There are seven continents in the world. In their decreasing order, they are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe and Australia. Australia is the smallest continent and Asia is the largest continent. The continent of Africa has the Tropic of Capricorn, Tropic of Cancer and the equator passing through it. Okay? And Antarctica is the only uninhabited land. Uninhabited continent. There are no settlements of humans on Antarctica. But some countries have sent their satellites to it. Now, hydrosphere. Hydrosphere or water is the liquid part of the earth that contains water. About 97% of the water is in seas and oceans. Now, we know that the earth is known as blue planet. Because from space, if we look at it, it appears blue due to the um, large ma due to the uh, due to the presence of water. But despite this thing, we face a shortage of water. Why? That is because about ninety about. 97% of water is found in seas and oceans that is salt and not fit for consumption and about 2.77% water is found in ice sheets and glaciers. Now, after calculating the all water, scientists found that there is only there is only 0.003% water available for us. 0.03, not 003% water. That is why we face a problem of water but if we have to remove it we should save rivers from getting dirtied by the polluted water of factories and by the air pollution the there is also life in the water known as aquatic life if it will die how will our ecosystem remain so we should save our water and maintain the hydrosphere. It contains oceans. Oceans are very large parts of water. 
they are the largest type of water now there are five major oceans in the world in their decreasing order they are the pacific ocean the atlantic ocean the indian ocean the southern ocean or the antarctic ocean and the arctic ocean the pacific ocean is the largest ocean it occupies space even more than the space occupied by all the continents means it is even larger than each of than the area added of each continent atlantic ocean is the second largest ocean it is it is it is s shaped and the indian ocean is the third largest ocean it is triangular in shape it is triangular in shape and it is the only ocean to be named after a country that is india that lies on the top of this continent because it is situated in this in a place like this is the ocean and here is situated in india it is situated in such a place that is why it is named after the country india and india comes under the continent of asia now atmosphere it is the thin blanket of air surrounding our earth that protects us from the harmful radiations of the earth of the sun provides us the air that we breathe maintains soil fertility and does many other actions the atmosphere contains nitrogen oxygen and other gases like carbon dioxide ozone helium hydrogen argon and many more this is the diagram of our atmosphere here 78% is occupied by n2 or nitrogen 21% is occupied by o2 or oxygen and 1% is occupied by other gases including carbon dioxide helium hydrogen ozone and ozone is such a type of car such a type of molecule that contains three atoms of oxygen but in earth inside the earth not outside in the atmosphere inside the earth we have such molecules that have only two atoms of oxygen but in the atmosphere the ozone layer is made up of molecules that contain three atoms of oxygen in each molecule now the atmosphere is divided into many layers these layers are troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere troposphere it is the layer of atmosphere found closest to the earth and most of the air is formed in this layer of atmosphere because as we go high the quantity of air decreases and as we go down the quantity of air increases that is why most of the air is found near the earth in 27 km or we can say that about 97% of the air of atmosphere is found in the 27 km area of the earth now the second layer stratosphere many jet planes flying this layer because it is very 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 stable and the ozone layer also comes in this layer 
that protects us from the harmful radiations of the earth harmful radiations of the sun sorry now mesosphere mesosphere is the layer of the earth where the comets that come from the space burn up but only some comets burn here comets and meteorites but the other heavy ones might fall or might burn in it they might pass through it but some might also some might burn in it now thermosphere it is the second last layer of the atmosphere it is the second last layer of the atmosphere it is the layer with auroras satellites and many more things what are auroras auroras are beautiful lights formed near the north pole and the formed near the north pole because when the uv radiations of the earth come in contact with the magnetic field of the earth come in contact with the magnetic field some of the radiations go away but the other ones travel with the magnetic field and reach the north pole here they combine with oxygen and nitrogen atoms and form and form colors in the sky that is why they are seen and we know that the earth's magnetic field is formed in this way this is the earth and this is its magnetic field north pole to south pole and north pole to south pole so when they come from here they some of them go with it and go away and the others go with the magnetic field and reach the north pole where they combine with n2 and o2 molecules n2 and o2 atoms sorry and give out different colors now the last layer exosphere it is the air with the thinnest air of the atmosphere mm, it merges with the space or we can say that the atmosphere merges into the space in the extremely thin exosphere now so this was atmosphere now the fourth and last domain fourth and last realm biosphere this is the most important realm as it contains life as it contains life bio the word bio means life so biosphere means bio is equal to life or bio is means life and sphere is the realm means the realm of the earth that contains life all forms of life um, are found here it may be aquatic or it may be land found on land mm. it is very important to keep this realm healthy because we survive in this realm everything that we make make in this realm this is a very important realm mm. according to me the most important realm that we should save for our own lives is this realm it contains habitats for different plants animals and even for us it contains ecosystems but due to our but due to our mistakes that le have led to the extinction of some animals what is extinction extinction is the process of ending of all the species of an animal some extinct animals are dinosaurs dodo woolly mammoth saber tooth 
tiger and many more and uh, what are endangered animals the animals that are on the term of extinction means there are only some animals or even some species left of this that type of animal and it will it might become extinct in the few years so we must save them because if all the animals did went away and become became extinct how would we survive because there are many people like the tribals that survive on the animals on the plants and we know that there are many more animals on this earth than the humans so if the animals died how will the plants get sufficient carbon dioxide because it is in very less amount in the atmosphere so plants will also die and without plants how will we survive we will also die so we should we all three plants humans and animals we should keep all the three healthy and keep away them from being extinct that is why i told you that this domain is the most important domain so this was the introduction to realms of the earth so thank you friends for watching my video and if you liked my video please subscribe my youtube channel takshil yadav jai hind